Hi guys! Welcome back to my whatever. Yes, this is a shed. I am in a shed. But this is the shed that is going to become my studio. Um, I just figured I would see what the lighting was like with the sun coming in the door. I got it propped open. Um, yeah, clearly it's not done. There's no walls up yet. Once that is done, it'll be really pretty. I think I'm going to put like a painting behind me or something. I actually do have a couch here. <laughs> um, but once I get everything set up, then you can see everything. Because the couch that's here isn't the couch that's going to be here. And once I do start doing my videos, I'll probably be sitting down more often so that you can see the picture I'm going to put behind me. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. But I just decided that I wanted to do today's video out here just because, well, the stuff that I needed was out here. Because I am doing another book haul video because I went back to the Dollar Book Swap and I also went to Barnes & Noble because I had a gift card. So I'm just going to do that real fast. And uh, sorry, I look like crap. If you think I look like crap, I don't know. I kind of don't look half bad in the viewfinder. So I don't know. Maybe you think I look fine. Um, in person, I look awful. I am sweaty. <laughs> anyway, aside from all that, I said I was going to do a book haul. And that's what I'm going to do. I bought a bunch of books at the store. Some of those, a lot of them were, um, now i got neighbors mowing them on. Anyway, whatever. Um, once I get this done, I'll have soundproofing. Some of the books that, that I bought, or most of them, are parts of sets. Some of them I showed you in my last book haul. Others I just already had parts of the sets. Uh, and actually, at the end of this, I'm going to kind of pan over this bookshelf of all the books that I have um, set up to read on my second channel eventually once summer gets here. So also, sorry I've been gone for so long. I've been getting a lot done. We are actually like, I bought a new car to replace my art, old car. It got in a wreck, but it's okay. It wasn't totaled. They almost did, but they fixed it and it's beautiful. Um, also, I'm currently going through the process of buying my house, so that's been busy. We have to get the house clean and pretty for the appraiser, and I've been working on the shed, and some of the stuff that I took out of the house is now in the shed, and I'm still rambling, and I'm sorry, but like I said, I plan on, um, once summer is out, to go crazy with making videos, because I won't have to stop to run my daughter to and from school all summer long, so once she's just home, she's pretty self-sufficient. She can get herself a snack and turn on TV, and then I can just, I don't have to deal with it. I can just get up in the morning and I can go to work. So, anyway, on to the book haul. Okay, what do I got? Again, my books are behind me. Again, they're not in perfect order. I tried to make it a little better than last time. Okay, this first book that I got, I got at Barnes Noble. Not that it really matters, but if I can remember, I'll tell you. The last time I told you that the reason I started this channel was because I had a friend who, my friend Harleen actually, she doesn't really like to read but she does like stories, so I started it so I can read them and she can listen to them, kind of like audiobooks. And the book that she really, the series that she really wanted me to do, I feel like I'm going to sneeze, nope, the series that she really wanted me to do was Serafina. Now there are two books out and the third book is on its way. Um, the first book I showed you last time I bought was Serafina and the Black Cloak. This time I bought the second book because it's the only other one out right now. Serafina and the Twisted Staff. I'll get to reading them eventually. I'll get to reading all of them eventually because I haven't even finished one whole series yet. That's already in Cyrus Common. Alright, so that's one. Um, again, I don't really know anything about this book. Uh, is this, what does it say? Um, Serafina's defeat of the man in the black cloak has brought her out of the shadows and into the daylight realm of her home. I don't know. We'll see if it's interesting, you know, once I read the first one. Either way, even if I don't like the first one, I will continue to read these. And I plan on maybe someday down the road doing, um, what do you call it when you explain? Uh, book reviews. I might do those. That's definitely a thought. Um, okay, this one. Well, this is actually two books. It's a set of two. Um, I don't know. Okay, Chris Colfer. He's also an actor who played in Glee, but he has written books called The Land of Stories. Now, I don't... There's 
four of those books. I don't own any of them yet, but there's also two spin-off books. Now I have read the actual stories, all but the final book, I believe. Um, and I love them, I just don't own them yet. But I did buy, I haven't read these yet, they're two spin-off stories. And anyway, The Land of Stories is these two kids, a brother and a sister, that their grandmother gives them a book, and it's a book of fairy tales, and then they get sucked into it. And then, you know, they're in this book with all these fairy tale characters. And lots of stuff happens while they're in this book, as you can imagine. So, the two spin-off books are Queen Red Riding Hood's Guide to Royalty and the Mother Goose Diaries. Now I don't know exactly how these are written. These ones might not be read on my second channel. However, the actual stories themselves will, as in books one through four. I don't know about these because they're kind of weird, but this is the um, the cover for the box of these two. I guess that's a uh, red. Oh, here's it. Here's the, the back of the book. The back of the, sorry, the back of the box. That is shiny. Okay, so I guess this one is the Mother Goose Diaries, and this is a. Uh, Queen Red Riding Hood's Guide to Royalty, so. I don't know what they are. What is this? The Guide to Royalty, the, prepare, the premier guide for anyone who is royal, or who might one day become royal after narrowly escaping death by a wolf. <laughs> and the Mother Goose Diaries, Mother Goose opens up about her centuries of adventure. So, Mother Goose is a pretty interesting lady. I definitely want to read that one. Um... Also, I do remember last time I told you that I got the book Pendragon because it sounded familiar and I realized later, I think I put a little excerpt in it, that I remember the name Arthur Pendragon as in Knights of the Round Table and that I, <laughs> that is not what that book is. Again, I haven't read it yet, but I know that that's not what that is. However, I did say that I wanted to read that first book to decide if I wanted to buy the rest of the books. Clearly I changed my mind because... I bought a few more of them. I think one of them was missing because book one was, let me see if I can see it on my shelf. Book one was The Merchant of Death. The bookshelf is right behind the camera, by the way. Um, and then I bought book two, which is The Lost City of Far, F-A-A-R, I'm going to have to look that up. Um, book three, can't see because sticker's covering it. Oh, The Never War. Book four is The Reality Bug. Book five is Black Water. Is, and then I, book six is The Rivers of Zada, another one I'm going to have to look up, Z-A-D-A-A. -A -A. And then I don't have book seven, but book eight is The Pilgrims of Rain. So I really hope I like these because I bought almost all of them. As far as I know, I'm only missing book seven. I haven't looked it up to see if there are any more beyond book eight. Um, okay, also, I don't know if I mentioned previously. But my favorite, my all-time favorite author is Sherilyn Kenyon. She has a lot of books. She writes books about dark hunters, which if you don't know what they are, they're almost, it's kind of like a vampire-esque story. Um, basically, um, the dark hunters, they can't go out in the daylight, but they don't, like, they sleep all day and they go out at night, but they're not, they don't suck people's blood or nothing like that. They hunt Damians, and that is, they are cursed for eternity to hunt the Damians and basically protect the people because Damians are these creatures that do attack humans. They're more, they're more vampire because they actually do, like, suck on ya. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway, the Dark Hunters are supposed to be there in the background. We don't know they're there, but they're protecting us. And she had, like, a lot of them are kind of like, they do have an underlying romance in most of her stories, but she also has Akron and Styx, which Akron is about the leader of them, and Styx is his twin brother. And those two books are very graphic. I, if you are triggered by things like abuse and um, assault and rape and things like that, um, I wouldn't recommend them. I am, however, going to try to read them on my second channel, and I do plan on giving a disclaimer. But as far as the other Dark Hunter books, 
there's really just a lot of se there's really just sexual content in in like some of them like it's not like heavy sexual content like it's not like hardcore romance novel it's not and like erotica or anything it's just like there is an underlying romance in the story and there is a at least one lo love making scene in them so again i will put a disclaimer on those because those are not for younger listeners i would say viewers but my second channel is really just listening to me talk and looking at a picture of their book cover so anyway where was it going? My point to that is that I'm trying to collect her all of her books. Now I have Akron and Sticks and then a lot of the Dark Hunters, but I don't have all of them. So I went and bought um, a few. I bought Fantasy Lover, um, Dark Bites, which I do believe is a collection, Night Pleasures, and Night Embrace, and there's still more that I don't have. There's a lot of them. Um, but there's not necessarily a book one, two, three, four. Each story is like the story of a different Dark Hunter. But she does have a preferred reading list. list. So also at the beginning of each one, I'll say, if you haven't heard this story yet, go check it out. Because basically, you don't have to listen to it, but they're like this book may mention events that happened in previous books and if you haven't heard them or read them you won't understand. Um, not to say that you can't get through listening to the book without knowing, it's just helpful. Um, also she does have a spin-off series. One of her characters, his name is uh, Nick Gauthier and uh, he is what they call a squire. He works for the Dark Hunters so like if the Dark Hunters have errands that need run, ran during the day they can't go because they can't go out at night but a squire who is a human who is trusted to t with the knowledge that they won't tell about the dark hunters um will be able to go on their errands so nick o'shea is a squire of one of the dark hunters and he has many secrets <laughs> that um he has kind of that he doesn't know about to start with and they're kind of thrust upon him and now his life is just spiraling and uh so I have my, I'm sure you saw in my Christmas video, if you watched it, that my hubby actually bought me a few books on Christmas. And that was the first few books in what is the Chronicles of Nick. Now he bought them for me in paperback and there was one that he didn't buy me because it was only available in hardback and he wanted them all to match. I told him I didn't care. So what I did was I went out and I bought that book in hardback. So that one is Envision. I think it's six or seven. I don't remember. Let me see. I can count those too. Let's see. I got one, two, three, four, five, six there. So this is book seven. And then book eight actually isn't out yet, but it does come out soon. Now the problem with this, this lady, she write, she writes one of these a year while writing other stories because she also has other series of stories that I'm not that into and, and that are more like this is solid romance. I'm not so into that. And then she has a couple others that I just haven't started yet because I haven't even caught up with all of this. Like the Chronicles of Nick and the Dark Hunters, I haven't caught up. Once I do, then I may. She has two other series. One's out and one's getting ready to come out um, that I do plan on reading. So I may get to them sometime. Also, um, I have a book called Troll Mill. I don't know what it's about. I haven't read it. But while I was at the store, I found Troll Fell, which is, who's this by? Catherine Langrish. I saw this book and went, hey, that looks interesting. And then I got home and saw that I already had Troll Mill on my shelf. And I went, hey, they go together. That's funny. Like, I didn't even realize that I did that. I didn't realize I already had one until I got home and saw it and went, well, that's really cool. So um, I guess I'm going to have to see if there are more because... I don't know, these two may be it, or there may be more books, I don't know. I need to do a lot of research. I need to really read. <laughs> okay, I got this one too. There are a lot of books in this series, but they only had, um, they only had these at the book swap, so I only bought these. But that was fine, because if they had the rest of them, I would have way surpassed my limit. Um, again, I don't know what these are about, but these sound really interesting to me. They're by, um... Car Caroline Harris. Yes, Caroline. Okay. Anyway, um, I think they're, what is this series called? 
I, oh, it's a Sookie Stackhouse novel. I don't know if you know what those are, but I've got Dead to the World. I've got Definitely Dead. Living Dead in Dallas. Club Dead. Dead. Dead as a door now. And From Dead to Worse. And there are a lot more of these. So, again, I hope they're good because I'm just going nuts. But let's buy an entire collection, even though I don't know if it's any good. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me. Also, I've been interested in the Artemis Fowl series. I've heard that they're really good. So, I, um, I have one of the books. I only one of them so I bought some and then I got home and realized that one of the ones that I bought was actually the one that I already had. So I had Artemis Fowl and the Opal Dece Deception and well I bought it again so now I have two copies if I wear one out I got another one. Um, but I also got the Eternity Code again I don't have all of them. Um, the Arctic Incident and the Artemis Fowl Files. So these are from, I don't even know how to say that, and I don't even want to try. It's E-O-I-N, Owen, spelled funny, I don't know, Colfer, Owen Colfer, I think, E-O-I-N, I'm not sure. Again, another name I need to look up. And I'm almost done, I promise. I just have one more stack, but they're like, not groups. So this one, oh! Okay, The Edge Chronicles. I started reading this one a long time ago and I never finished it because there were a lot of books and it was kind of confusing. Like, this set of three is one main character. And then it's almost like Star Wars the way they did it. Like, one, two, and three is this character. Four, five, and six is his grandfather. Seven, eight, and nine is his son. And, <laughs> you know, it's sort of like that. So, anyway, the one that I bought, I don't even know where this goes in the line of books. I'm going to have to do research just to figure out how, what order to put these in. But this is the Curse of the Gloam Glo the Gloam Glozer. It is uh, by Paul Stewart and Chris Rydell, and again, it is called the Edge Chronicles. There, it's about sky pirates, like pirates that fly ships in the sky, like not in the water, in the sky. So, I remember I liked it when I started reading it, but I never got to finish it mainly because the series. Like the books that the physical books that I were reading belonged to my ex boyfriend, and we broke up before I got to finish them, and then I just never went and looked for them. Okay, and then Percy Jackson. I'm trying to get all the Percy Jackson books. So I bought Percy Jackson and the Olympians, um, book four, The Battle of the Labyrinth by Rick Reardon. I'm starting to get a Rick Reardon collection, I've noticed, because I bought a bunch of those last time too. And then this one, I don't know what it is, but it had a really captivating cover. And to me, that means a lot. <laughs> so this is Grail Quest, The Camelot Spell, by Laura Ann Gilmore. No idea, but there's a dragon on a pile of gold on the front, and that speaks to me. <laughs> what does it say? The Grail is not to be something covered by a sticker. It is to be earned. Not to be... I don't even know. Not to be something... It... The grail is not to be something, it is to be earned. Taken? One? I don't know. Now, on the eve of the quest for the Holy Grail, every adult in King Arthur's castle falls into an enchanted sleep. And the future of Camelot rests on the shoulders of 14-year-old Squire Gerard, who has dreamed of becoming a Knight of the Round Table his whole life. Hmm. Alright, and then, I don't know if anybody has read, I mean... Anybody currently watching could have read any of these, but um, any books by Gregory Maguire. This one, like I have Mirror Mirror, Confessions of an Ugly Stepsister, Son of a Witch, Lost, and A Lion Among Men. I already have those, but now I have Wicked, The Life and Times of the Wicked Witch of the West. I think it is very possible that people have read this because this is very popular. It's become a uh, play, musical, I haven't seen it, but anyway, and I believe A Son of a Witch has too. I could be wrong, again, I haven't actually gotten to see these because I don't get, often get to go to plays and musicals. 
I wish I could. I love plays and musicals. And then the last one, another book that I don't know what it is, but the cover was capturing. It is Falcon Quinn and the Black Mirror. Now this is another series that I'm getting myself into because I don't know, I'm a sucker for a series. But this is by Jennifer Finney Boylan. Jennifer Finney Boylan. We're gonna go with that. But yeah, this there's on the front there's a fairy and a boy that looks like he has squid legs. I don't know, can you see a fairy? Yeah, she's back there. Well, nope, that's wrong finger at this side. No matter how many times I do this, I'm still gonna get backwards from a viewfinder. But anyway, a nightmare and a fairy tale all rolled into one. Falcon Quinn is an action-packed adventure full of slimy, terrifying, heart-wrenching, and hilarious moments. Mostly, though, it's about letting your monster off-leash and learning to trust it. Fur, fang, slime, and all. So, I've got myself a bunch of serieses that I'm... serieses? That I'm gonna need to start reading at some point. But again, the summer's gonna be here, so I'm gonna be taking days out of the week to just sit there at my microphone and read and read and read all day long. So hopefully I can get a good chunk of books read through summer vacation. And as promised, I said I was gonna do a quick pan of the shelf of the books that I definitely planned on reading. Or I think, I think there are three books in there that I'm not going to read. They just kind of wound up out here. Um, one of them, see, one of them is actually like a guidebook for a series that I do plan on reading. So that book itself won't be read, but the series will, so I'll just, I'll leave them in there. Okay. We've got... And you just heard my daughter. And see, I don't plan, like this one right here, Lush, I don't know if I'm going to read that one. And then this is just a book of quotes. And then this is just silly little stories. So I don't know, I might do that. And then I don't know about the notebook. Because I don't know about doing love stories, really. I'm not super into love stories. I love the notebook, but I don't know. And then this is the one. You can't read it, but it's a Sisters Grimm. A Vera Grimm Guide. That's the one that goes with the series. That book itself is not to be read. Kind of like this one. Professor Winsnicker's Guide to whatever. That goes with the Levin Thumps book, the books that I've been reading, but it too is not a book like itself. It's just about things. Let's see. Let's pan back over. Yeah, those are all the um, Chronicles of Nick books. There's my Rick Reardon little mini collection. There's uh, the Land of Elyon and some standalone books. There's the um, Cheryl and Kenyon books that I have. And then Styx and Akron. Now, Akron actually is in there. You can tell that Styx, that's just a cover. That's because my friend is currently borrowing it. She's reading it, so I will have that back at some point. But yeah, that is my book collection. That is what I plan to eventually read to you. And uh, as soon as I get on that, as soon as school lets out, my daughter's last day of school is this Thursday, so... I should be getting on that real soon. Okay, and uh, I guess I'm done. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go edit this and I promised my daughter I would take her to the park so I'm gonna go do that. So, as usual, click the like. Oh wait, hold on. I keep forgetting to remind you that the links to all my social media is down below. I just got a Twitter. I have no followers, but I got it to be hip. <laughs> okay, click the like if you liked it. Comment if you feel like I actually would like for you to comment different book suggestions for me. I am taking book suggestions and if you want to tell me about any of these books if you've read them I would love to hear about hear you know your opinions on them uh, so yeah comment if you want I would I would love to read your comments um, subscribe if you want because I would really appreciate that and uh, share with your friends if you want that'd be great and I'll see you next time bye bye